So we all got some hauls to share with you guys. Um, got some things from 99 cents only, some things from Dollar Tree, some GameStop, some Walmart, and some Walgreens. So it's, a, it's another one of these mixed bags, mixed bag of hauls. Um, this is, again, this is one of those things where I got all this stuff. It's not a whole lot of stuff, but this is an all in one day. This is, this is stuff, you know, I just haven't had a chance. And, you know, I was kind of saving to do another haul like this. Uh, so it's like a collective haul, so to speak. Um, and I'm standing. <laughs> I just want to do something a little different. I, I think I've done this before, but just, you know, instead of just doing the usual sitting on the chair, I uh, feel a little, it's different. I feel a little freer doing this talking to you guys. It's kind of like when you're 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 hanging around, hanging out, you know, standing around uh, and, and, and talking. Anyway, um, so I'm going to jump in these halls in a second. I'm not, I don't got too much, you know, like random stuff to talk about right now. Just one thing I just wanted to mention, I'm kind of tired of, of what's on my walls. Not exactly what's on the walls but just how I have them I've mentioned before that I've been meaning to change things up and then especially what's on what's what's on well what's behind the camera um the other side where where my table is and there's the the the, the plaque the wooden plaque artwork you know on, on the other side over here you got the the life-size Harley um I've mentioned before I've been wanting to change things up for a while just haven't haven't had a chance to get around to it so hopefully one of these days is you know it's not so much what is there I don't want to really remove those I just want to change things around and, and add you know so if you've missed those other other times I mentioned it one of the things I want to do on this whole wall right there I want to fill it up with movie posters um, the, the smaller like typically like promo size mini posters like 11 by 17 so I just want to fill that whole thing up like maybe three rows three rows of them one two three I think I think I could fit three rows and you know from from end to end I think that'd be cool and then I want to move these three um I want to keep keep Harley and Batman but I want I think I want to change Wonder Woman to the uh, Wonder Woman movie poster now I'm going to put those on on that wall where uh Harley is and then where I got those three wooden plaques above my um like my table my review table if you want to call it that um I have two other ones that I didn't put up. They're both Marvel Comics ones, uh, and I wanna I wanna put those higher towards the ceiling, and then below those uh, a couple like I have two like uh, Marvel and DC group posters, like kind of like Marvel Universe DC Universe like group posters. So anyway, that's what I wanna do. And then actually, uh, yeah, I mean obviously can't see right now, and I think it's. It's kind of seen, been seen in glimpses. I usually don't show this side is where the uh, the sliding door, uh, the closet sliding doors are, and it's it's mirrored. It's a mirror. That's why uh, I usually don't show it. Um, but I want to fill those up with like posters or, or something uh, as well, so that that can be another background I can use. You know, when I'm when I'm shooting these hauls and vlogs and stuff like that. So anyway. That's pretty much that. Um, I think I mentioned it in the last like haul and, and vlog video. Uh, this week actually, uh, I think Thursday, gonna be driving up to San Francisco, so I'll be I'll be out of town for a while, taking a trip. Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, let's jump into these hauls, and and a few of them is actually what I'm wearing. So I think everything. <laughs> yeah, I've got stuff under this. If you've seen these, you you know the deal. Um, uh, it's all from Walmart, but um, clearance time is still kind of you know after Christmas and stuff is being put on clearance. Probably not so much uh, for after Christmas, but more so for you know changing of the you know the the season of the clothes. You know hoodies and and winter wear and stuff like that is getting phased out. It's time for like summer clothes. Um, so stuff like this hoodies on clearance, um, some good prices. Which is kind of ironic that I'm getting these because it's like it's getting warmer here in Vegas. I don't know about everywhere else, but here in Vegas, it's man, that was a short winter. Uh, it's already starting to, to feel a little like summer. Uh, anyway, so there, GI Joe hoodie. I was surprised to find this, and in my size, here's the thing you know, I'm a size small in adults, and uh, sometimes it can be hard to find because it's it's kind of like um, kind of like a, a short packed figure 
you know, they usually short pack, well, I don't want to say they usually, sometimes has bro, has blow, makes dumb decisions, um, but, you know, they'll short pack a figure, but sometimes they'll usually short pack a figure that they think is, well, no, I don't think that, that, uh, logic necessarily works with Hasbro, because, again, it's Hasbro, and there's no logic there, but, you know, in, in some other cases, they, they tend to put less of a product that, you know, is not as popular, so if, even for sizes, you know, they'll produce less of the size small, because there's less adult men that wear size small, you know, so anyway, it can be sometimes hard for me to find uh, a shirt or something in my size. Uh, I was surprised to find this, like, on clearance. You know, I would expect smalls would all be gone, but sure enough, I found this at a, actually, what Walmart? It was it was one of the Walmarts not even near me. So, 11 bucks down from eighteen ninety nine. Pretty cool, you know, as a lifelong G.I. Joe fan. Um, you know, extra cool because it's like, in this, in this current era, you know, with, with G.I. Joe, you know, there's virtually no G.I. Joe line, you know, at mass retail or, or anything to support it, like a, a cartoon or, you know, any other kind of show or movie, you know, it's cool that it's still a retro, a popular retro enough property that, you know, something like this is being carried at Walmart. Um, so yeah, 11 bucks down from like 18 bucks. Um, really cool. But again, you know, it's getting warm, so I probably won't really be wearing, putting these to, to more use until <laughs> next winter, later, later this year, you know, November, December. Um, and then this one's a pullover hoodie, uh, Deadpool, really cool. Uh, uh, this was another one, uh, 11 bucks, now from 18 bucks, so it does have a hood. But again, you know. I got these. Nice to get these on clearance, but I probably won't really be putting them to use, regular use, until, um, you know, next, next winter. And then, last up, this one wasn't clearance, it's just, it's, it's brand new. <laughs> I just thought this was funny, look at that. Uh, so, exclusive and new. Exclusive to Walmart, I guess, is it really? Um, I thought this was funny. It's it's kind of it's kind of funny, but dangerous at the same time. It, it is on both sides. Uh, I can't see what I'm showing you guys, but uh, go to that trash right there. It's dangerous because it's like then anyone can impersonate security. You know, I mean, who knows where at any given place if this is exactly how they look. But you know, people aren't gonna always recognize that. You know, they see this and they just think it's someone's a security. But I, I thought it was pretty hilarious. You know, kind of impersonate security so that's how you get that so that's it that's it for the um for the shirts and stuff from walmart but um let's move on to a 99 cents only so first up i got a couple hot wheels got this volkswagen t2 pickup from the uh, art car series i just thought that looked really cool this is one of those ones that sometimes I forget if I've gotten it already. So I'll have to, before I crack this open, I have to double check and make sure I don't already have that. And didn't double buy. And this one is the uh, 2017 Ford GT from the, uh, the Nightburners series. I just thought that was a really cool looking, you know, uh, it's not foreign, but it, it is, you know, like an exotic super sports car. Uh, and then... Um, if you saw the, the previous video, uh, some little blind, blind package toys. These are actually for my daughter, Summer. Um, Shopkins Happy Places. Got three of those. She loves, again, I've, I've said it before, I'll say it again. And yeah, she loves blind bag toys. But, you know, two, three bucks. I'm not going to get these for her, but for a buck, why not? And then a couple more. So she loves Shopkins, and these are kind of... Similar to Shopkins, size-wise and somewhat design-wise, they, they they go well with Shopkins. And so, some of you might be familiar with these. I wasn't until I heard her mentioning them, and then I actually saw them at 99 cents only. So I'm like, why not? Grocery gang, uh, crusty chocolate bar. So there's two two little figure things in there. I got three of those. Those are again, those are for my daughter. Um, and I picked this up. 
resistance band. Here's the thing, full disclosure, I haven't worked out in <laughs> years. I just, I don't work out, you know? Uh, I used to, I used to. And I don't know if any of you watching this, you know, go w back with me far enough. Uh, I used to work out uh, when I was much younger, but I just, I don't. You know, uh, adult life kicks in, and you know, it's. I'm not making excuses. I know some people can make time for it. It's just, it just wasn't a priority for me. So yeah, I haven't worked out, and so it's two bucks, two bucks at 99 cents only. You know, you can do all kinds of exercises. You know, bicep, uh, shoulder, you know, other things. Yeah, you know, there's all kinds of things. You know, I'm, I'm mostly gonna use it for my biceps and shoulders. Um, yeah, you're not gonna get buff using this, you know, but it's it's just a tone, you know, so <laughs> Exercise man <laughs> uh, Dollar Tree, what did I get from Dollar Tree? Oh, okay, so I got this uh, Sometimes you find cool DVDs at Dollar Tree, you know, uh, 99 cents only too, but mo more you find more uh, DVDs Sometimes in Blu-rays at Dollar Tree, but I got this. This is for my daughter, Pogio. She likes Pogio. And, you know, she can watch it on YouTube, but sometimes, you know, I just want to not be on her iPad or something. I don't let her watch all day. That's that's one thing. Uh, but, you know, sometimes just sit, just sit and watch on the TV. So I can throw this on the uh, on the DVD player. Let her watch some Pogio. And I got six packs here of these um, Panini. The world of, yeah, the world of Batman, you know, uh, if you saw it recently, I got those Justice League ones. These are older. These, I think these are 2016. I previously found one random pack of these at a, at a Dollar Tree. I picked it up and there's some really cool stickers, you know, they're like trading cards, but they're, they're stickers and they're, they're smaller. Um, but yeah, some, some really cool stuff in there. And I, I found these, uh, at another Dollar Tree recently. I was like, yes really cool because um it it has i don't know if the little front facing camera will pick that up uh, it's not as clear but the world of batman from you know all kinds of uh from from animated to the comics to the the classic tv show to the dark knight trilogy to batman vs superman so really cool stuff in there um then at a game stop went to a game stop um, this is one of those things, and I haven't, I've been busy, it's, again, if you, if you miss me mentioning it before, um, one of the biggest indications of me just being way swamped and, and busy is not posting on Instagram. And so, I haven't been able to post on Instagram in a while, I don't know how long it's been now. Well, I, I think a few days ago I posted some, uh, some toy pics, but as far as a bunch of stuff that's just sitting on my phone from from uh, store finds and toy sightings, m mostly that, and you know, outings and stuff like that. It's just, I haven't had time to sit there and just post. Um, including a few days back, I was down in, in Henderson, Nevada, which is uh, about a 30, 40 minute drive south of here. So I dropped my wife and, and Summer off uh, at a, uh, they had a little function uh, thing to attend, and uh, I had some stores I went to. Uh, there was a, a Maximum Comics, there was a 99 cents only, there was a Walmart, and there was a GameStop. So anyway, pick this up. You know, I'm not a big collector of the Funko Pops, but um, I get a few here and there if it's something I'm, I really like. And if it's cheap, I I almost never will pay full price for a pop. I think only my very first one, um, and a few... I know just my first one. I don't know, maybe one more I paid full price for. And there's one that's out that I might pay full price for, which is the uh, Alexa Bliss one. And my first one was um, Kelly Kapowski from Saved by the Bell. It's one of those things where it's like, they'll probably never make another toy. And I'm I, one, of my, one of my 90s TV crushes since way back. You know, so I was like, yeah, it's a pop. It's a Funko pop, very stylized, but you know, I gotta get it. So anyway. I like taking pictures of these. I'm not like a, a Funko Pop photographer. Um, but, you know, if you see my stuff, you see, you know, once in a while, for however few of these I have, I like to uh, take pictures of them. You know, if 
five bucks or less, it's, it's a good price. And Ash vs. the Evil Dead telly. This is a show I just recently started watching because it was on... Um, it finally came on Netflix. I, I wasn't able to watch it before. Big, long-time fan since childhood. Uh, the original Evil Dead and the, the sequel and then Army of Darkness were favorite movies of mine since since I was a kid. I know that sounds kind of weird. But, yeah. So, cool to get that for only five bucks. She's a badass, by the way, Kelly. Really cool. Uh, and then... Okay, more Walmart stuff. Whoops. I'll move the camera there. Um... So these are actually, and then those hoodies and, and, and this were, I think, from actually three different Walmarts. And even the stuff I'm about to show here is, a uh, and they're all, I just put them in the same bag. It's all from Walmart, but from from different ones, different times. Uh, a couple of Hot Wheels. Found another one, those, uh, the Tank Naders, um, which is, it's the, uh, I don't know if you can notice that. It's the, uh, what do you call that, um, Treasure Hunt. That's pretty cool. I have one. I'm still torn, like, just because it's a treasure hunt, you know, it's not like it's it's so valuable, but, you know, unless I can find a third, because I usually aren't build these tagnators in threes, so uh, unless I find a third, I might I might keep it sealed. Um, and then this is pretty cool. 1985 Honda City Turbo 2. That's a cool little, little import car right there. Um... I'm curious to see what what because this that's really cool. I love the the style, the the design on that. But I'm curious to see what other decos they'll they'll have of this later. Um, but for now, yeah, I think I'll I'll crack that one open. I might include it in in an opening party. Um, and then so here the the next things are things that I I picked up and I posted that video of the the clearance finds. Um, so those DC superhero girls. I just got a katana. And Batgirl for only a buck each. Uh, my daughter Summer, she actually she really likes DC superhero girls. She'll watch the episodes on on YouTube. Uh, I'll see if she likes these, but you know, just for the fact that they're you know they're pre-posed figurines and not really like movable action figures, I don't know if she'll really enjoy these. I'll see if she likes them. If she wants to play with them with her other toys. If not, I'll I'll probably throw them on the desk, display these, and then this. So those were only a buck. Originally, like, uh, uh, these were about $5 each, originally. Um, this one, that's a clearance score right there. It's that Power Rangers movie, uh, Power Morpher. I think the battery's running low on this. Anyway, originally 25 bucks, 24 96 for only a damn buck. Yeah. Yeah, I think the battery's running low on this. No problem. I'll change it. But, um... <laughs> this is partly for myself, partly for my daughter. I think I mentioned... Oh, now I can't get this thing to shut up. The battery's dying. Um, anyway. Every time we're in Walmart and we go to the toy aisle, she asks for it. She sees it on the shelf and she wants to play with it. Or even the, the masks that, that make sounds and stuff, she'll, she'll wear it. Um... Hey, I wasn't gonna buy it for her for twenty five bucks for for a freaking buck. Hell's yes. But also for me, since I am a fan, uh, and I I loved the movie. I always wanted to do like a kind of vlog or review where I talk talk about the movies when I eventually saw it. I don't know. I just didn't get around to it. But um, I did. I loved I loved the movie. It was really cool. And then last but not least, Walgreens and. Wow, that thing won't shut up. I'm gonna have to crack that open and get some new batteries. Oh, I was so excited to find this. Uh, just like the uh, the previous Saucer Banks with the um, Raw Women's Championship belt. I'm not 100% sure because unlike other Walgreens exclusives, this doesn't have one of those Walgreens exclusive stickers. But I, oh, there's the uh, the Sasha Banks, and I don't know if I uh, I, I believe I reviewed her. I, I don't recall if I, I posted it already or not. Anyway. Um, I remember when I got the Sasha, uh, and we saw Becky Lynch on the back, I was like, oh man, please, I was hoping, I was like, cause, you know, it wasn't out at the same time, and I'm like, I hope that's not something, you know, sometimes they'll show stuff that's supposed to come out and it gets canceled or whatever, and I was like, please, please, I hope that actually comes out, and it took, I don't know how many months it's been now, but 
I was I was happily surprised to find that uh, randomly. I was um, what was I doing? I was picking up a prescription. I don't know if it was Summers or my wife's uh, prescription, and I just had to stop by Toys, and boom, Becky Lynch Women's Division with the the SmackDown Women's Championship. The Irish last kicker. Holy crap, that thing won't shut up. Uh, anyway, so. I love Becky Lynch. She is uh, next to Alexa. I mean, you know, the, I, and I've said it before, the, the, the current women's division is just amazing. So many great superstars. You know, most of them, I'm going to say all of them, most of them are super talented. You know, there was a Divas division where it was all about just girls looking pretty. You know, but they didn't really have that wrestling talent. Some of them did. But I think even for those that did, none of them were, are, were on the level that they are now. And oh, these girls are great. And, and, you know, most of them are beautiful and hot, but they also can wrestle like hell. It's just so awesome. Uh, so anyway, Alexa Bliss is, is, is my favorite. But I, I don't like saying she's my second favorite. The way I look at it is like if there was no Alexa Bliss, she would be my most favorite. And and it's it's also hard to say that because like I said, there's so many great uh, you know wrestlers in the women's division right now. But I just there's something about Becky Lynch. I just totally love her. She's awesome. So yeah, she's gorgeous too. Gorgeous. So there you have it. And that's my haul. Um, so I'm leaving for San Francisco on Thursday. I don't know if I'll have another haul to share before then. I'll, I'll try to see if I can get some other random videos up um, before then. Um, if not, I don't know you know, what my situation will be when we're in San Francisco and we're actually going to Lake Tahoe after that. If I'll have Wi-Fi, you know, I'll probably I'll try to anyway, post some pictures on Instagram. Um, as for videos, you know, it all depends if there's anything to show, toy sightings, or, you know, if I hit up any stores and if I have Wi-Fi. I'm not going to use my data to upload videos. Uh, pictures, maybe, uh, not videos. So, anyway, in the meantime, as always, hope you guys enjoy. I really appreciate you guys watching, you know, really appreciate it. You know, big thumbs up. Fist pump. You know, you guys guys and gals which I don't think any of my regular viewers I don't think I have any female regular viewers right now um but you know you guys are the bros you know and I've said it before you know there's just a, a small tiny handful of you guys who watch regularly if not every video and and comment on every video you know um you guys know who you are uh and and I, I really appreciate you no, seriously, seriously, seriously. So, boom, fist bump again. There you have it. Thanks for watching.